Well, here it is, my uh, second grinder from Alistair from Downland Engineering. A nice big 14 inch wheel on it, and we've got another platen there as well. So, this will complement my first uh, maxi grinder. This is an upgraded one with a, a gas strut instead of a spring. So, I'm looking forward to, um, to working with this machine. Um, but the uh, object of this video, or this video diary, so I think there's going to be more than one video on this, uh, is the um, the update of the workshop. And this is my humble workshop at the moment. And it's uh, been a bit of a compromise to work in here, to be honest with you. Um, with the priority, obviously, to earn a living, uh, I had to do make do with what I had at the time. And... Um, for those of you that have been following my channel for some time, you'll know that I was originally in my other garage, uh, which suffered a bit of a disaster about a year and a half ago, and it got flooded. Anyway, this is another sort of single garage that I've got on my in my garden, and um, it's in two compartments. Uh, and I've used the first area as my heat treatment room. There are my kilns, a little anvil down there, and my rockwell tester here. But it's very small and um, I'm going to be extending this area. This is the main grinding room. And there's my uh, current maxi grinder. Dual presses. And you can see, literally if I turn the camera, how small this area is. And it's not an ideal grinding room because in the morning I get strong light coming in from this window and it casts very strong shadows and I found out that that is not ideal for, for grinding so you want a sort of a dark environment with artificial light almost for the grinder um, through the window here is my greenhouse and then beyond that is the other workshop over there which is where I started my knife making uh, but it's not a, a good building that so I'll take you outside and I'll show you what I'm going to do before I do this will be the new, the new access to the new uh, extension and I'll um, also have an access here. Here's an outside view. Uh, we're having to build the orders and earn the living. Obviously everything else took a, a back burner so to speak and um, got neglected. My, my garden is a terrible mess and I've had to, I've had to uh, Obviously there's only so much one man can do. And it's all been neglected, it's time to catch up. Time to tidy this, this area up. I've cleared a lot of the rubbish away and I'm waiting for a, a skip to be delivered so I can dispose of all this rubbish over here. Uh, this veranda is coming down. So that's what I'm gonna do today, knock this down. And I'm hoping to uh, start work on uh, the footings and um, which would be uh, a course of uh, a couple of courses of engineering bricks and then um, the wooden superstructure will be built above that and I'm hoping that I'll be able to do this in about two weeks uh, I want to complete it in two weeks I've got John John Lane aka Moleskin Joe who's going to come and uh, install proper dust extraction for me and also um, air conditioning so uh, that's just fantastic and it's gonna make the make a much more pleasant environment to work in which I think is uh, really vitally important really for this job um, I'm doing it all myself uh, so that should keep the costs down and I'll bring you back at intervals and show you the, um, the progress but this is phase one this is how the workshop is now And uh, I'll bring you back, as I say, as the uh, the build progresses. We're cracking on with it. Huh? Go on then. Knock it down. Go on, put your back into it. What are you trying to do? It's not hard. It's not as easy as it looks. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> we got the veranda down, most of it's coming down now and the site's becoming cleared so we're, uh, we're getting on with it this is my son Christopher now having a go it's wobbling We can't see any reinforcing bars in it, but it's holding itself up. That's got a thing in it as well. Okay, we've discovered there's a scaffold tube, a galvanised iron pipe down the middle of this. And that's why it's refusing to break. So what we're going to do is that. strike the scaffold tube with a hammer and that will send shock waves down and it should... Uh, blow or split the, the concrete. Would that, would that, would the little hammer be good? Yeah, that one that? over there. Get the hammer. And then whack the steel pipe. Okay. So it's really, it's really hard. Uh, no, you're beginning to break it now. So they can come off now. It's cracking down here as well now. Okay, that might come off now. Okay, exposes more of the pipe. Wait, so whack that, whack it on that side now. You might even be able to send bigger shot waves by using the uh, sledgehammer. The sledge on it. Okay. Careful, then. Just, just keep keep this in the pipe. Yeah, four shock waves are going. Go on, keep going. What would you have done if it was actually reinforced? Like we're still pipes. Just have to keep breaking it away. Bit but by it would be more tedious. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Ah. Here we are, the pillars down, and there's the, uh, the galvanised pole in the middle. The nerve signal that goes to the muscle. That's, that, that's the way you start to I was planning on going on a, a camp with, uh, with my friend John Wellins. Uh, we're going to go this week, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, but I decided I'm going to have to crack on with this. I've got so much to do. Uh, sorry, John, if you're watching this, do apologise. I know you understand. Got the first lot of bricks in. I've got to go. I can only collect so much at a time, building material-wise, because they're heavy. And I've only got a car, and I can't put too much in the car. Um, but I started to gather the bags of ballast and cement for the, for the base. Uh, I have to go keep going backwards and forwards to the uh, uh, DIY store to get more as time goes on but I'm starting to stock up on that now the site is cleared the uh, veranda's down this pole I'm going to have to disc cut off because it's probably going in the ground quite a way so I'm going to disc cut that off and I'm going to clean the whole site up get myself a wheelbarrow and clean it all up um, this is the debris which is building up rather, rather rapidly um, and I've got a skip coming tomorrow uh, hopefully coming tomorrow and we're going to uh, load that into the skip and tidy the garden up and uh, give us some more breathing space and look at this here I've got this is from when I cut the hedge uh, having to uh, remove that as well so this is progress uh, I want to motor on and see if I can get this project completed in a week. Well, progress thus far, and I'm finished now for today. End of day one, and we've got the uh, beginnings of the uh, the footprint going in. So this will give me uh, an awful lot more space. This will be my new grinding room eventually and there'll be a wooden 
superstructure above it. Uh, I'm going to have a, in the roof, I'll have a rally right here. I expect there'll be a, a skylight to let the light in. Dust extraction, air conditioning. It's going to be a wonderful uh, workshop for me. But it is quite hard work and you can see the mess that I've uh, managed to um, accrue. Skip comes tomorrow. So my car will be gone and the skipper come in. And that'll be for the removal of all this waste. And uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, that's uh, end of day one. Uh, tired and dusty. I'm going to go in for my, uh, my tea now. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll um, bring you back with another update um, soon. Maybe tomorrow. I'll see how it goes. Bye for now.